Hello everyone, Henry here with a new video export tutorial. This will be the third I've made so far, but uh, when you look at the old ones, they're rather aged. And uh, I'm doing this one with new recording software, which hopefully makes my voice sound less like a potato and, uh, you know, a bit nicer, not so grating on the ear. Uh, in front of me right now, I have the Waterloo Blender Exporter, which is my latest Blender file. Uh, this is the 0.5 version, which was released on uh, September 25th, 2023. And uh, if you have that file, what I've got in front of me is hopefully exactly what you should have in front of you. Uh, with this video, I want to show you uh, how to go about uh, navigating the file, toggling things, and uh, exporting STLs. So uh, just a fairly comprehensive what you need to do to get to grips with the file. So uh, let's talk about some basic controls. I will describe everything I'm doing as I do it. Uh, if I press in my middle mouse, I can uh, rotate the camera. And I'm sure anyway, any of you played a video game in the last 10 years know how this works, but just in case. Uh, I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel by moving it in and out. <clears throat> oh, like so. Doop, 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 doop. And on the right, I have uh, a selection of folders. So the principle of how this Blender file works is I have organized everything into folders which can be toggled on and off using these white eyeballs to the uh, to the right of them. So for example, here under trousers, the parent file, we've got marching legs. If I tick this white eyeball, the legs disappear. Click it again, they reappear. If I want to change the trousers, I can tick off gaiters, change it to cavalry overalls. We get some of these uh, uh, overalls that have the, the leather inward bit for riding a horse, presumably. I uh, can change it Go back to gators. I can turn off the um, the British parts, which are these uh, these tabs and these rolls. Turn on the oh, whoops. Turn on the uh, the Nassau trim for the Nassau troops, and uh, yeah, you get the idea. That's how that works. If you want to toggle um, individual things that you see in front of you, you can left click them, press the H key to hide them. Please note that when you're hiding things, you're not deleting them. They're still in the file. Um, this is just about getting what we see on the screen to match what we want to export. So I think to show you uh, how totally things can work, I'm going to change this into a standing French line infantryman. So I'm going to move to marching legs, I'm going to toggle that off. If I click the white arrow to the left of the folder, I can collapse it, which makes it you know a bit more readable. Expand the standing legs, left click, click the eyeball, this displays. Um, <clears throat> this bayonet we'll deal with later. Uh, change the infantry boots because these could be French again to gaiters, uh, from gaiters over overalls to gaiters under overalls. Turn off the Nassau trim. There we go. So that's that's what a Frenchie's legs would look like. Uh, let's for good measure change the musket pose to. Mm, I want him standing. Okay, let's make him a musician. Let's do a um, an idle drummer. So just click idle drummer, expand it. Uh, turn off the pre-Barden coat to the Barden coat, the modern Frenchie. Uh, he wouldn't have swallow's nests, he would have epaulets. Ooh, that's only on one arm. That's something I might have to patch. I don't know why he only has an epaulet on one arm there. Ah, it's, oh sorry, it's because in the French folder there is a, a, a default epaulet. Never mind. Okay, if I scroll to the bottom, down to national parts here, minimize the British, toggle that off toggle on French parts, there's our other epaulette. Open up the French bit. Um, he doesn't want a flank company bayonet, turn that off. He does want a saber, sabers are under shared parts. Shared parts is here, French curved saber. Get rid of the British belt, French belt. Uh, huh, okay, like that. And what's this? Oh, that's a Nassau belt. I've got the Nassau. Nassau have a folder in the French folder down here. Turn that off. Um, <laughs> and the pre barden dress, turn it off. Turn on Barden dress. You'll see that this button is clipping through. The button is fortunately separate. Just click it, press H, and changes headwear. Forgot all about the headwear. Uh, default, open that up. Turn off British, minimize British, turn on French. Expand French. We don't want to be wearing a carabinier helmet, so let's change that for a shako. Open up the shako. Again, clicking the arrow. Um, I think that shako's all right, is it? So there we go. That's a an idle French drummer. 
if I want to export this model, I just... Oh, his cuffs. Cuffs. Don't forget the cuffs. My ideas are there. Under cuffs. Cuffs is under the, the pose. Idle drummer. Cuffs. Turn off the lit Lityevka. Cuffs. Change that to French and Russian cuffs. There we go. Now this figure is ready. So, if we want to export the figure, we just left click it. Press A to select all. Click File. Export. SDL. Now on this new recording software, you should be able to see the window in front of me, whereas on my last version of this tutorial, I had to describe this locally. I'm going to export to my desktop, so I'm selecting the desktop, type in French, drummer, and very important now, please, please, please pay attention to this step. On the right hand of the screen here, we have selection only, tick that, and if you want this STL to match the scale of uh, my pre-exported 6mm STLs, we need to change the scale here to 1.0. 0.165. Enter. Click export STL. That will uh, that will uh, export. Now I open up my uh, file explorer. Go to desktop. French drummer there. Open it up. This program is called 3D Builder. Uh, you can get this um, from the from the Windows Store uh, if you're on Windows 10 or 11. Just open up the Windows Store, type in 3D Builder. It's a free program from Microsoft. Whenever you load anything in this, make sure millimeter is selected. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it will select centimeter. Click millimeter, click import model, and it will flash up as needing a repair. Just click this box and leave it to repair. And then when, it's re when it is done, you can just close it, click save when it prompts you on the way out, and uh, you'll have a repair model. While that's going, I'm gonna give you one more little tip. Um, I have other tutorials on this channel about basic blender controls and things. You can watch that at your leisure. But I think an important tip for those of you who are on um, machines that don't have so much RAM is this is a very large file. I think it's 2.2 gigs at least, it might be two, two and a half. I can't remember off the top of my head, sorry. Um, that's because it's, it's very big, it's got lots of things. If you want to uh, save as, save the file as, you can split it up into different let me explain it again, sorry. You uh, you could save like some space and some time opening the file up if you divide it into different files. So if we go on file, save as, again to my desktop and call it, for example, Waterloo Infantry, I could have just the infantry in this Blender file. It's just saving. Duk, 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 duk. Um, the infantry are here under the poses folder, we got line poses. Action is also infantry, but these are all non-infantry. Got horses, cavalry, command, artillery. If I right-click a folder in this overview, right-click and click Delete Hierarchy, it will take a bit, but that will delete that entire folder. So if I delete all of these, do, 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 do. let's see how much space gets saved. Okay, I'm gonna save this now. Save. And now if I open it, that's 1.78 gigs. So I think that's saved about uh, 600 to 800 megabytes just doing that. And you could do more. You could, for example, if we use the search box up here, you could type French. You could delete any parent folder that's French. Let's do it with the British because this is a French figure. But for example, if we go in here, British, British and allies, just delete hierarchy. That'll take a bit again. The hats take up quite a lot of space because there's a lot of modifiers on them. Um, go through all the different hats, delete them. You could delete British from the national parts at the bottom. The point being, you can prune these files uh, if if it will help your PC. I do have a tutorial also on this YouTube channel uh, covering using Razer Game Booster to increase your available RAM. That'll do a thing. And off the top of my head, sorry, this is unscripted. I think one more thing I'll show you is under heads and hats, we have heads and hats in different orientations. This is default. If you toggle this off, you can change it to 30 degrees, 30 degrees mirrored. Uh, sorry, it's lagging a bit, 45 degrees, so on. The reason why you can see a big jumble there is because uh, all the toggles are a bit messed up in here. Um, British and Allies, yeah, toggle all these off. It's because it's just the one. God, so many hats. Yeah, like so, there you go. Nice shouting face for you. Um, if you want to change between the shouting and the normal face, by the way, uh, there is a folder. Where is that? Where is that gone? There should be a European head. Ah, here it is. European head shouting. European head, like so. And yeah, uh, 
that's what comes to mind as the basic stuff to cover. I suppose I'll give you one more little uh, tour through the structure of the folder, <laughs> which would have been useful before I deleted everything. But I think the main thing to get your head around is that the poses folder here is a big one. And if you toggle offline poses, toggle on action, expand this, you'll find that standing, firing, standing, loading, kneeling, firing, etc., etc. Uh, let's change to kneeling, firing, standing, firing, kneeling, firing. That's a rifle. We can change the rifle down here. Weapons, Baker rifle to uh, a Charleville. He's French, isn't he? Change the head to 70 degrees. Turn on the European head there. Uh, change the Shako to a French one. Oh, gosh. Lots of toggles. Toggle, toggle, toggle. Uh, Just leave the cupboard shako, shall we? Turn off the helmets. There we go. And then the final step would be to change the legs from standing to kneeling. Uh, he's French. Poor guy. And there we go. There's still some toggles on here. These are the, the Dutch Belgian wings. Just turn them off. Uh, but otherwise, you'd want you would want to have some webbing on there. So line that adds his bayonet. Uh, webbing cartridge box. Here, if he's got epaulets, he's a flank company guy. So we can actually change this line for flank company and uh, find the saber belt. There we go. That's a nice French. Right, well, last step is to check the model we exported. As promised, when I come back, it is repaired. I just click X, save scene, and I'll save. Let's open up Litchi Slicer. Do, 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 do. Should have had this ready beforehand, sorry. It won't take long. I have a super slick rig of course, that will load this very quickly. Add files to my desktop French drummer. And there he is, ready to print. So as you can see, that's pretty much everything you need. So uh, as ever, if you have any questions, you can put them to me either via the comments below or um, you can come join the Discord. Uh, ask me or the other people there. Uh, if you want to learn more Blender controls, take a look at this YouTube channel. Uh, see if there are any other videos that suit your interests. And uh, let me know what you think of the video and microphone quality. I think this program is a lot better than the one I was using before. Previously, I was using uh, Windows Game Bar because that's just integrated in Windows. But um, it had some disadvantages, namely that it could only record one active program at once and it made my voice sound like a potato when I actually have a fairly nice microphone. So yeah, hope that helps and uh, have a lovely day, everybody.